What's up guys? Um, we're going to be doing kind of a castle rebuilding series. Basically, this is going to be a really small series compared to what uh, I normally do for castle rebuildings because it's kind of a small castle. Um, and I already have most of it built, mainly because I was keeping this room already and then I had some trouble fitting all the stuff in that I wanted to in this with this room. And so I just kind of wanted to leave it as is and just keep it this way. So we're going to be building the one room that's kind of experimental. I always generally have part of my castle that's experimental and usually that's why my castle um, does poorly because I'm just kind of messing around with things and I was gonna build just a standard castle um, with just like mouse to a room and a boss room and that was it and just he see how my win rate it was um, but I went through castle today um, and I saw something that killed me and so I decided I wanted to try it in my castle so that's what we're gonna do um, it was actually Ocelix's castle I he's a viewer of mine and uh, he's been around for a while I don't know if he still watches videos but um, he attacks my castle sometimes, I attack his, and some of the people have been around since, like, I started playing the game back in, like, August of last year. Um, I, once in a while, I uh, run through their castle just to see what they're doing, uh, spe especially since the ones that are still playing the game. You Like, not many of those people are still around, so uh, it's interesting to see what, they, what they're trying out. So, um, not all of it is exactly what he did, but it's pretty similar. Um, so let's see how I want to do this. I think I just want two mouse wheels. I put it in, I, I uh, did like a test run to make sure it would fit and everything worked properly, but um, that was a while ago. So let's put this stuff back in and then I'll go over the rest of my castle and then I will uh, I will do a quick run through of it and try to get through it without dying, but generally that doesn't work for me uh, on the first attempt. Alright, so I want everything to be throwing them, I believe, into this room. Maybe the first one could... No, throwing them out is actually a bad idea. You don't want them to be able to build up too much stun immunity, although you will be able to build it up on these mouse wheels. And that might be a reason why I have to... Uh, I have to put the mouse wheels somewhere else. Or not even have mouse wheels, put it like a jelly wall or something in there. Maybe a spike trap, anything like that. Really the only thing you want is for them to roll over something into the mouse wheels. Because that's the only way that it... Or into the springboard traps, because that's the only way the setup will work. Um, it doesn't have to work, I don't think. It should still have enough kill potential in the castle to work, to work without it. You know, you can see it's only going to be about a... 40 defense point investment, which is kind of heavy, but at the same time you need to put something into a room to uh, give some anti-cutting anyway, so uh, that's kind of why I'm going for this. And it should have at least some kill potential to it, because I died to it instantly. Um, although, when he built it, he had creatures supporting it, but I think it'll work just fine without. It might take a little bit of tweaking to actually make it work properly, because... Uh, rotating the ballista traps, specific ways to make them all hit, will be pretty key for this. Um, so before we do that, actually, I need first. I'm gonna put in the corrosive mines. I'm only gonna use two corrosive mines here. Uh, let's see. I want one kind of right in the middle, and maybe one off to the side here. And then I want to put two fire mines in as well, just to add a little bit more damage to it. And then a huge ring of ballista traps, and this is the whole idea behind it as these ballista traps should have enough damage to kill someone if they get trapped inside of here. Uh, I don't know what stops them from actually just rolling out of it. Um, but I know that I died somehow, and I was probably spamming roll because that's what I do. So most likely... Let's see, what's going on here? I have to figure out... There we go why that wasn't getting power. Um, so most likely he might have had a dampener in there, which might be something that I have to add in, but currently this is going to fill up my castle completely uh, just with this. So this is exactly how I want it to be. The problem is I have to kind of think about uh, how I want these to rotate, and then I also have to test it a bunch. I won't really do the testing too much um, on screen because I think it's going to be kind of boring just running over this over and over and over again and making small, like, one tick rotations here and there just to make sure it all works out. Instead you'll probably be able to see that if I do a replay day, which I should do, but I didn't do one last time, so. Um, I think these these two that are here are going to see the attacker as they're getting thrown. You'll enter into their aggro range that's kind of like right around here, 
as you're being thrown in. So you want those to be facing away. That's what I'm just assuming. Um, and then the ones that are farthest need to be facing towards the person. And I think the other ones need to be facing one tick away. So they just have to turn once. Um, let's see, these might actually have to be facing inwards like that. So they have to just move a little bit. So I think that should work. Just eyeballing it and thinking about it um, should work okay. You want to delay them enough so that they're landed before they fire. Because then, uh, you know, they'll land on the person rather than behind them. Because they'll still have that momentum going. Uh, if not. Alright, so this is... Let's go over the rooms. This is that, like, linear room. It's available at, like, level 28 or 30 or something. Um, let's go into the architect's office. It's all the way down at the bottom. Linear hall. I'm only throwing this in there because it's the lowest... I think it's the smallest amount of kiting room that there is. Um, I don't know. I don't like corners because corners are easy to kite around. Uh, so with like the boss room that I have, if they do end up kiting through this room and through this room and get to here, uh, Webmaster, uh, Snottingham, Zeeks, they're all kind of good in straight, narrow areas. Even Battering Rams, pretty much this entire group is good at like narrow areas. So I want to keep the corners to a minimum and I want to keep the kiting room to a minimum. So uh, that's the reason why I chose this room to put basically mines in because I don't have room. I don't have space to put mines anywhere. I could put them like around in here and stuff, but I also wanted to have an entrance here with something on the end of this. Uh, because previously if I just have the uh, entrance right up next to it, I can only have these four springboard traps and nothing in the front because you can't put this uh, this power supply here which is powering these four traps. So I'm going to try this. If too many people are cutting back, I'll probably remo remove this room. Uh, if this room isn't getting any kills or isn't dealing any damage, I might remove this room and make another uh, mouse wheel room or something similar uh, to supplement my castle rather than having this room. But this is, like I said, this is my experimental part of my castle. kind of ends like right here where this room ends. And then this is just a standard mouse wheel room. I didn't have enough points for two dampeners, so I have one snotter and one dampener on the ends. Um, pretty much exactly the same as my last castle, though. Uh, actually, it's the same room. Uh, the one thing that I was going to change is I was possibly going to uh, remove these and, like, put them halfway in, the two mouse wheels. Move these into this hallway, move these up. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'll probably mess around with it at some point. As of right now, I think it's fine the way it is. Uh, and then you have the Snottingham. Um, so Snottingham here, we have two webmasters. This webmaster is outside of the aggro ring, so technically I think it can be skipped, but it's going to see people enough of the time that I think it works out. I don't know, I might try to tweak it. Like I said, I was having some trouble fitting everything in this room and actually making it fit in the aggro ring while having enough trap pressure inside of the room that I was happy with it. Um, like this this puppeteer also is outside of the aggro ring, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, there's enough here that you're probably going to either have to roll by the webmaster or volley on top of it or accidentally hit it in some way that I think enough people will aggro this that it works out. Um, so I think that's fine. If not, I could just like make one more point in my castle somewhere and put in like a snotter in this corner and then just link it to the webmaster so it can't be skipped and link the webmaster back to the snotter as well. Um, I can do something like that. Uh, I ran out ran out of points as well, so I was only able to put three ballista traps in the back. I would have probably liked at least five or so if I had enough points for it, but I think this should work out uh, just fine. The things that I have to watch out for when I'm going through and validating this, because I haven't yet, um, will be this uh, silence trap pushing these minions too far out um, to mess up their their AI. If, if uh, this will ag like push them because they're inside of the silence ring. If it pushes them too far and they don't get aggroed or something, I might have to uh, move this. Same as this one as well, it'll possibly hit this webmaster. And maybe even the, the uh, Defendatron as well. So I'll have to watch that. But other than that, I think the castle should work out okay. Um, I don't know. These level 30 castles are tough to get over 50% win rates with. And... That's what I'm kind of used to, um, is getting like 70 plus, so I'm not... Uh, so far I haven't really had a successful castle in my opinion. 
in quite a while, so probably since level 28 before the balance update, um, back when I was using stair maskers. So that is pretty much it. Let's uh, let's try to validate this thing really quickly. And I think that's going to be pretty much the end of the video. Um, people know how to make this uh, this mouse wheel room. You know, I've I built one of these earlier, and then the boss room is really just a cram crammed in. Uh, boss room with like a hundred points in it basically so we'll see how it works um yeah so let's validate or at least attempt to i also will have to speed run it at some point um a couple times just to get the time a little bit lower but i won't worry about that here i did place these mines so that an archer with a ballista can hit all three with one arrow obviously i'm not trying to time run this right now i'm just kind of talking about it so it's fine um, so that when I do speed run it, I can just roll up to this, shoot it twice, and then be done with all of them. Uh, whereas like a mage will only be able to AOE this, and then we'll have to single target this or something. It'll take a little bit more time for anyone that doesn't have a blista and isn't an archer. So that's kind of why I positioned those exactly the way I did. Okay, so I already can notice that like half of my ballistas didn't hit, so that's going to take a lot of tweaking. Um, I only took a thousand points of damage or so when that should be closer to two thousand to three thousand i think um i don't know it's it's gonna need to be tested and worked on probably throughout the next week before it's gonna be good so uh if if you're going to like copy my castle or anything like that i would say leave this room out or do your own tests on it or something it might not work the way that i'm hoping it will i might even have to run through oslik's castle again and see what he's doing to make it work uh for myself that being said, even when it, with it not working, I don't think it's enough defense point uh, investment that it should kill me. It shouldn't make it, you know, super easy, but... Um, I might take that ca that uh, room out after a couple of days after testing it a little bit. Alright, so that was kind of annoying. The webmaster actually healed up right there. Alright, I'm not sure if I'm going to try to kite this or not. I guess I'll probably just try to kill it inside, but... I don't know how well this is going to work. Alright, so I think everything aggroed except for the webmaster down there. Um, I might actually have to put the webmaster in the ring and then leave out one of the battering rams. That's my other option, so I might do that. I also might need more traps rather than more minions. But it's working okay. Um, I'm thinking maybe that first room, as long as that's going to start... If, if that deals more damage than what it's dealing right now, then I should at least be down to zero potions right now. Um, and I'm dodging decently in this boss room. So it still, should still have at least some kill potential. So like right here, if that if that room had dealt enough damage to me, I would be dead right here. Obviously these last couple seconds I could have played it a little bit better um, and dodged some of these Zeke shots. The, Zeke, the Zekes are really going to be the deciding factor if someone dies or doesn't die. If you take too many Zeke shots, you should lose the castle. If you don't take enough, then it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, so... I'm not going to start it over. Uh, I'm going to look at a couple things that I was talking about. Uh, I think these are still firing a little bit too quickly. So what I might actually have to do is I want to delay these a little bit more. I think the ones at the end were hitting me. Possibly these ones were hitting me as well. These two here weren't hitting me, I'm pretty sure, uh, and they are delayed as much as possible. Um, so what I might do is actually make them attack really quickly and try to get a second attack before the person is up off of the floor. That's the only thing I can think about doing. So we'll try something like this and see how that works. Again, I'm going to go through this probably ten or so times before I get this right, and actually the way that I want it to, uh, the way that I want it to work. And if it doesn't work the way I want it to, then I'm probably going to scrap the whole room. 
and I don't know, do something, maybe another one of these. I don't know if I can actually fit that in, um, because there's a lot of ballista traps in here. It's probably a few more points this room is rather than this room, but I don't know. Uh, so let's see. I don't really want to run it again, uh, but I will run it and validate it after the after I finish this video off. Um, what was the other thing that I wanted to do in here? I think I wanted to incorporate this webmaster into the group. So see, if I if I incorporate him, I don't get these guys. I don't know if there's something I can do with the power in this room. I don't think so, because that's powering these two. So I can't move that at all. Most people are going to run down the middle, because they're not going to just take free damage from the spikes. Um, there's no reason to. So... I could also do something, actually, this might work. Let's see. If I do it like this, then even if they run straight down, they're going to get uh, they're going to get aggroed on by the battering ram. If they run to the sides, if they run to the absolute corner, I think they can still skip it. But that makes it at least a little bit better. And I feel a little bit more confident that these are going to get uh, aggroed rather than this one that might be skipped. And like I said, I can also put in a snotter somewhere in here and link it to this webmaster if I have to. So, um, I'll do some some watching of replays and see how people are reacting to this. So I think that's going to be my castle. I'll have to go through and validate it again and actually get through it and time run it a couple times. But that's pretty much it. Um, so that's going to be the end of the video. This is I'm going to try out this castle. Like I said, this is experimental. If you want to copy things from here up, it's probably going to be pretty solid. Uh, back into this area is going to be the real issue with these like first 50 defense points or so actually dealing enough damage to uh, you basically need to force out one potion every 75 or so points so you need to hit be um, be taking someone down to like one third of their life off of this at least and then if they're a knight they can heal off of this mine which is a problem I might move this mine over here uh, because of that Alright, so that's pretty much it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. We'll have a we'll have a um replay day at some point next week or the week after. I don't know. After I'm done tweaking it and I'm confident that I'm getting as much of the as much of a win rate out as I can of the defense, I will throw up a replay day. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.